welcome back to Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're here in the Wormwoods. I'd like to start this episode off with uh, a shout-out before we get to Guerrilla Warfare up into the right. Shout-out to Justin Jones, who says, I guess the real heist isn't just buying things, but obtaining more of an item than is allowed. Technically, that is also stealing, so it checks out. The remarks about Knife Bro resembling an edgelord rogue gave me a chuckle. I ran a Dungeons & Dragons 5e game, and I do have a player running a rogue. She doesn't run her as an edgelord, as she has a more important task. Keeping our war-forged fighter in check, as that character is modeled off of HK-47 of Knights of the Old Republic fame. And yes, he does try to talk like him, too. Uh, for those of you who maybe don't remember the early 2000s, uh, HK-47 is a droid from a Star Wars game who uh, was programmed as an assassin and therefore has absolutely no regard for uh, sentient life. He refers to organics as meat bags, and he will attack or not attack anyone as his master deems fit. But he'd prefer to attack everyone. He also is uh, known for starting his uh, every sentence with a word describing that sentence. You know, usually, statement. I already looked in here, didn't I? Yes, this is the wrong way. Embarrassing. I was kind of expecting giant worms in the worm root uh, woods. Ah, this should be the place. Oh, that's right, it's you. You're the little guy. If only you could have known what cruel punishment your little sneaky glance is about to bring down upon you, maybe you would have closed your freaking eyes. But you couldn't, you didn't, and now you're paying the price, you dadgum fool. I once saw someone get absolutely shut down from using that thing because someone replied to them with their IP address. And their real address. Another challenge from the Mighty Knight? Alright, we can let you use the range. You think you've got what it takes to complete the Ranger Challenge? You know, it's to be very confused or very dense. The Ranger Challenge is for Rangers only! I did have that thought. Why are you giving me this quest? Arg. Complete the ranger challenge as a ranger at the king's range. Right, uh, I'll be right back. Oh, right. Okay, let's see. Nobody? Rat. I guess I'll get rid of slug. There you are. Right. Hey, this guy said you needed a ranger. How's it going? Or another challenge from the Mighty Knight. All right, you can let you use this range. You think you've got what it takes to complete the ranger challenge? Score at least 23 and you pass. Are you ready? Huh, that's weirdly specific. I mean, I thought it was weirdly specific and I found a level 23 area. I wonder if that's a reference to that, uh... What was that movie? That is the movie was just called the number 23? Oh! It's literally target shooting. Oh! Fuck! Man... Oh, I get it. No! Man, I am terrible at this. Sixteen! You call that shooting? My grandmother could do better. Throwing rocks! How dare you even call yourself a ranger! Man. 
Why had Gallop that whole time? I could have gotten ahead of those things. Let's try that again. No! I made it to 22! Same line, even though I was only one below the target. Well, my laws and Drapper said, you've survived tougher, so let's do that again. Oh, wait. Okay, full mana. I did appreciate that at least it wasn't all of them. to again! Balls. Hate! Okay. Let me just... Okay. That was throwing off my game. Out of boxes here. If I don't get it in this one... Well, we'll see how this goes. One more before I start doing elevator cuts. Ha! Got both of the doubles. Twenty-three! I didn't get the others, but fuck it. I... I guess you passed. What? Fine. You think that was it? You think that completing a simple challenge proves anything? Think again. As we speak, I am contracting... My, I'm contacting... For God's sake. I am contacting my inner circle of master archers across the kingdom to create a real challenge, so you better prepare for the storm, insect. Come back to me later, and I'll show you a challenge that wipes out the pathetic little thing you call your pride. Guerrilla Warfare 1, 2 out of 2. Complete the Ranger Challenge as a Ranger at the King's Range! Level up! You'd think that would have given you Ranger uh, form XP. Or whatever the f oh, FP. That's right, they call that something different. Oh yes, Knight's Guild 1, 2 out of 2. Talk to Armanda at the Knight's Guild to become an apprentice knight. Fuck yes. Oh, I actually can't cross that line, huh. Saved. I was gonna peek over there, but you know what? Let's just go do that. It's a really easy quest. Wait. Oh, that's right, there wasn't one in this region. In that case, maybe I'll just keep going until I find one. Uh, the fast travel things, I mean. I just realized yeah, I didn't actually say that out loud. And I don't think YouTube supports telepathy yet. Man, can I call it or can I call it? It was just off screen. That would have been really, really embarrassing.
chance to go in for since it's a ceremony and all that, I'll go in as myself. Since you know, for this might very well be a real member of the the you know, the Knights Guild. I'm just saying. Up the mighty knight shows up. Hmm. And he's still back over here. Hello, Armanda. Goodness me, you've been doing a lot for the guild. I will now promote you to the rank of Apprentice Knight, as opposed to Squire. Hell yeah. If you keep working this hard, I will soon grant you full knighthood. What's your secret? You're telling me that a blunt blade can be as effective as a sharp one against certain foes? <laughs> oh, you have much to learn, rookie. Oh no. Congratulations, you earned a new guild rank, Apprentice Knight. Oh, hey, look. The short guy has a new quest. Knight's Guild 2 out of 2. I mean, 2, 1 of 2. Fuck's sake. Continue helping members of the Knight's Guild to become a full knight, and I've got 3 out of 7. Hey, sorry about that. The game alt-tabbed for no reason. That's weird. You dare to come back to me? I will wipe that smirk off your face with precision the likes of which has never been seen before on this earth. It's really impressive the number of things they can find for him to say which sound very much like that copy pasta meme. Go back to the King's Range and try the new challenge. I will laugh fury all over you and you will drown in it. Knight's Guild 1, 2 out of 2. Talk to Armando the Knight's Guild to become an apprentice knight. Done! Instead of doing that... Oh, I'm stuck on the pig. There is a pig there, anyway. Well, what were the other quests I had from the, uh... The Thieves Guild? Right, uh, huh? Oh, right! A ward breaker. Right, he's just there. I forgot about that. Hmm. Board breaking is kind of a pain in the butt. But I guess we can go see how that works. It'd be cool to be a senior peon and a uh, junior knight or whatever the fuck it was on the same day. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I was trying to remember something. U Town, as opposed to Motown, which is something very different. Oh, yes. Shout out to KOR. I'm going to stand over here as I say this. Yes, right here. Shout out to KOR, who says, A quick Google suggests that there is indeed a Native American story about a raven who steals the sun. And can I call it or can I call it? I still think they made it look like a chicken because it's this developer and they're weird that way. But also shout out to Yornick, who says, Not only magpies, but crows and ravens and other corvids love stealing shiny shit. However, if you're nice to them, they might eventually start bringing you nice and or shiny stuff. Sometimes it's a piece of aluminum foil, and sometimes something pricier. Not too often, though, they're above such unimportant things. <laughs> I like that. Hello, knife bro. Remember that time I saved your life? Alright, let's head over. Alright. Wow! Okay, let's see. You know what? Let me do something here. I'm just gonna get through this, and then I'm gonna take a moment to geek out. Okay? See, but let me uh, explain this to you. You'll see a bunch of target dummies pop up in the room around you, protected by different wards. If you take them all out before the timer runs out, you pass. You'll be told which wards are coming before each challenge, so you'll have a chance to pick the right abilities. Challenge one of three, you'll face the following wards, sharp and blunt, talk to knife bro to begin. Oh, good. In this case. Okay, we're now looking at a screenshot instead of the actual game itself, which means I can make the mouse cursor appear if I want to. Oh, I still had to set my recording program to uh, pick it up, since it's uh, kind enough normally to hide your cursor. 
Let's see. This is uh, Squall's uh, sword from Final Fantasy VII. It has a na Buster Sword, that's what it is. That's the Master Sword from The Legend of Zelda. That ap appears to be a Klingon Dictarg, I think it's called. I know, they're little daggers, as opposed to the Batleths they uh, really take into battle. That is a Plasma Sword from Halo, of course. Oh, I know this one. My brother played the shit out of this game. That was the Monado from... Was it Xenoblade? It might have been Xenoblade Chronicles. I have no idea what this one is, I'll be totally honest with you. This just looks like a generic sword to me. And I think an idiot could figure out that this one is the Keyblade from uh, Kingdom Hearts. But I have no idea what this fancy thing over here is. I feel like I did pretty well. <laughs> okay, let me see. Uh, sharp and blunt. Uh, oh yeah, sharp and blunt, look at that. The enemies appearing here are dummies inside of uh, barrels. They're spring-loaded and they've got little hands on springs, one of which is an oven mitt. And they've got eyeballs on springs sticking out of these uh, socket-like uh, eyes on their fake skulls. Nice! You got them all! Challenge 2 of 3 will face the following wards, dark and sharp. Strangely enough, I can also do that. Maybe we have a better one for that. Ah, dark and sharp. Go, go! Nice! You got them all! Challenge three of three will face the following wards, sharp, blunt, and light. Talk to Knife Bro to begin. Uh... Hmm, sharp, blunt, and light. Oh, does anyone have- no, the Tears ability can't be moved, he's its signature, that's right. Well, if we could find a Blunt ability to put there instead of Arrow Swarm. Although then I don't have to rely on the Buny for uh, the sharp damage. Never mind, that's a terrible idea. Okay, there's Light. There's Blunt. So, yeah, let's use the Mermaid. Swap out this for... what was it? Light. Oh, please. Oh, thank God. For a second, I thought Incubate was my only actual light attack. No, not light. No, I have light down there. What am I doing? It's sharp I was looking for. Ah, uh, my brain. Okay, this might be a terrible idea, but here we go. In fact, yeah, there's a screenshot for uh, those swords in the back. Uh. Nope, not fast enough. Wow. Okay. Maybe. Maybe it'll be easier to put light on this guy then. Wrong button. Okay. God damn it, me. I just looked at it a second ago. And water. Yes. Let's try this. I am the slow guy, though, so I don't love that. Go. Ah! Ah, fuck it then. Let's just stand up here. And yeah, definitely a Klingon's uh, dagger. 
What I very much like, and I have no idea if this is intentional or not, is that those Klingon daggers have a button on them that when you push them, two more little blades spring out. But when you're not using them, i.e. when you're just displaying it, you keep them folded up. So again, no idea if that's intentional or not, but uh, if it is, nice focus on detail. Yeah, sue me, I've been a Star Trek nerd since I was born. Didn't count on the cooldown, I will admit that. Oh, I'm out of mana! Fuck. It's no good at all. This guy's almost no mana. Right, okay, uh... Sharp, blunt, and light. Back. I swap out his own gallop ability for something with light. Oh, I don't think I can move while I do that either, so it's not even... have the most mana. I was expecting it to be this guy, you know, because he's a magician. Let's try the horse. I have no idea, man. I'm so close! No! Okay, I feel like those guys are set up for stump. This is gonna be interesting given that she has no legs. But those are the three things, god damn it. Oh, what if I just make that this? For the moment, I will swap out bravado with. Oh, no, no, no. I'm thinking of the one that makes things uh, charge faster. Not the, uh, what's that? Not the, yeah, that one. There's a piece, that one there. A charge time for abilities, not the one that's, uh, it'll be, not abilities recharge or cool down faster. Fuck. Um, I will put it on because I need to use the water bubble. This seems like a terrible idea. Wow, you managed to beat all of the challenges. I'm pretty impressed. Why do you think the last one is shaped like an L? Only backwards. It's like the Waluigi L. Or no, wait, that one's upside down. Never mind. I'll prepare something harder next time. Let's go back now. Oh. Oh, the timer did go. While well, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, Ward Breaker 1, complete knife bros challenge at the Thieves Guild. So let's finish things off. Uh, first of all, Thieves Guild 1, 2 out of 2. Talk to the leader of the Thieves Guild to claim the rank of Senior Peon. Let's do that and call it an episode. Very impressive. You have become rather p popular within the Guild. And in doing so, you have stolen the rank of Senior Peon. If you continue to work with our members, I will con consider giving you another promotion. Congratulations, you earned a new guild rank, Senior Peon. Hell yeah. Level up! 17. Not bad. Thieves Guild 2, 1 out of 2. Help uh, members of the Thieves Guild become Chief Peon. 3 out of 7. Okay, let's not talk to that guy. Oh, yeah, it's the second training course. Not yet. That was kind of rough. Oh, 
I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. When you get back to the forest, and, uh... Well, see what we can find. Till then. Later!